Hi, and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do another reading for no contact or long distance. Let's call in Spirit with some enchant time. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I had a pretty strong nudge to do a no contact reading for you guys, so somebody out there has a timely message. Uh, let's start with to the energy oracle cards. I feel like there might be something related to chakras uh, or like your purpose kind of needing to be clarified for somebody out there. All right, what do we have for no contact on distance? I hope it's beautiful weather wherever you are. This is like primo weather for Minneapolis. Not, you know, scorching hot with the humidity, but not cold yet. <laughs> hey, don't you do that. <laughs> Door to personal healing and happiness. Hey. Mm -hmm. I have a cat that likes to chew on anything that's like remotely plastic. So this is a great start to the reading. I just have to give it, you know, its own stage, I guess, because we have somebody that has cut through a lot of bullshit in order to be able to open this door to healing and happiness. Someone who has had to find out what enables them to transmute pain into happiness or beauty, and somebody that has had to cut things out of their life. But there's a sense that we've come to the end of a chapter. We may see the world come out or even the fool because we have somebody here who, despite going through all of this bullshit, has a crown. Somebody who is being recognized as strong even when, you know, the going gets really rough. This could be a feminine energy that is seen as pensive or intelligent. Somebody who has perhaps gone through an ego death or a recent ascension and sees things in a different light than she used to. <coughs> then we have appreciation. A lot of feminine energy coming out. A lot of this works, this doesn't, I'm going to go the right direction. I'm not afraid to walk away from things that hold me back. And with the appreciation card, oops, it feels to me that somebody has also learned to value the idea that whatever doesn't stick around in their life isn't meant to be in their life, and they'll find appreciation or gratitude for that which still is in their life. I think pulled towards the um, Miracle Tarot. So we'll start there for you guys. I still have some injuries from the cats fighting over food yesterday, so feel free to make fun of me. <laughs> Every time I say that, nobody does. What are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, what else do we have for no contact? We have the Nine of Swords. <laughs> so I'm getting a couple of things. I feel like this came out sideways. We have somebody that has been struggling to sleep or having repetitive thoughts over something in particular they feel like they should have done differently. And when they try to avoid addressing whatever this is that is bugging them, just like poking at them, it, for some reason it's giving me like a toothache with this 
exposed jaw that we have, it's like you can't forget me because every time you choose something, you're going to fucking remember. So there's some repetitive thought or urge that somebody's trying to stifle or forget, but there's also a repeated, a repeated attempt to remind this person of this thing. And it has to do with this person needing to speak their truth on something. So we have the chariot coming out sideways. It's like somebody knows in order to move forward what they need to do, but uh, they're trying to find excuses. Somebody here is walking away. And it could be this thinking woman, because she's kind of got her back turned towards us in the card. It's like she's reading something before she hops on a plane, you know? She's got a stack of books next to her. Maybe she's packing up the things that matter most to her. There's some detail that needs to be worked out with regards to how somebody is going to get from point A to point B. Maybe you're actually moving, maybe you're traveling, maybe there's someone you need to visit. It's long distance, so that wouldn't be shocking. But we have somebody here who is intent on getting victory, and we also have a desire to speak the truth. Wow. Yeah, this is fast-moving energy, you guys. Even with the delays or obstacles getting in the way, there's a commitment to standing up for what you believe in, speaking up for what you believe in, and doing so as quickly as you can. Making the changes necessary to get to this door to personal healing and happiness. There's a Knight of Swords in the reverse clarifying appreciation. It feels to me that there is ongoing appreciation. Like it could even be that this thinking woman repeatedly says, you know, thank you, or I am so thankful, or I am grateful for. Whatever it is, there might be some positive affirmations, but it's making it so that this quick action or pivot or change, this big change they want to make is going to be less reckless or difficult. It's like there's somebody ahead of them cutting down the, the thick grass that you can play through. <laughs> I don't play golf anymore so I hope that resonated with someone. <laughs> the devil coming out sideways. There's something here holding someone back that is tied to codependency, addiction, or fear. But there's a desire to move past this fear so that this person can establish stability and make a long-term commitment. This could be a long-term commitment to yourself, self-love, to higher standards, to a new life, a new way of living, a new perspective but somebody is trying to work really hard to put the past behind them and move forward into something more meaningful, even if it takes a lot of time, even if you have to be really strategic. There's the world card. It's in the reverse. This is interesting because I feel like 
Well, let's see what comes out next. Yeah. So as this thinking woman is making plans or efforts to make a major change in her life, there is somebody else who's running in saying, whoa, 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 this chapter isn't quite over. It's like when you think the movie is done and then, what is it, like Marvel or whatever loves to have like the secret scene after the credits roll. Somebody's coming in at the end of the fucking movie like, hey, I know your popcorn's done, you're probably a little thirsty, but I have this offer I want to make you. And you thought it was over, I was never going to talk to you again, but I haven't stopped thinking about you. I want something stable. I'm letting go of all the bullshit in my life that I don't like. I don't want you to reject me. I'm going to make the best offer I can. It's like... I know exactly what house I want to purchase. There might be three other people making an offer. So instead of making an offer at asking, I make an absurd offer like, yeah, they're all offering asking, but I'm offering, you know, 50,000 above cash. That's how serious I am. Don't reject it. There's a concern you'll reject this offer because of breadcrumbing or hot and cold energy in the past and an unwillingness to work together on a common goal. So there may have been difficulties around living arrangements, travel arrangements, money, death in the reverse. This is clarifying the devil in the reverse. Granted, the devil came out sideways. So somebody here is concerned because there is something negative they do have to share with this Queen of Pentacles, the woman that they see as loyal and responsible, wifey material. And that's what's causing them some trepidation or concern. There's a desire to show that this person has matured or changed, but they also know that what this person has seen on social media or heard through gossip may have already put them in the rejection co uh, column. So there's some drama that this person needs to address before they can really make their offer, but they want to come out from being left in the cold or they want to potentially live together. Willing to do anything. This person failed to appreciate the person they loved the most in the past by not putting enough effort or investing enough time in what they had and now they want to show just how important this person is to them. They want to have a victory here. We'll continue with the black card theme and get some thoughts of your person with the untold messages of the heart. If this is resonating, go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. They didn't invest properly. They didn't realize how much they cared until they realized they fucked it up.
I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. Someone feels incapable of loving the way that you love. The word at the top is selfish. So not shocking, stubborn dot 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 card comes out because we have no contact, right? Rejection. Four of cups in the reverse came out, remember? I'm uneasy about myself. I don't know if I can truly make you happy. They have serious doubts, serious fears of rejection. They put you on a pedestal and they feel like they've made an ass of themselves and that you'll cut them down not see what progress they've made just so that they can come forward to you. It's like I have to make a big splash. This person feels like you have to go big or go home. and they want to have a more gentle approach. I'm staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. They want to do it right. We're going to close it out with the Romance Angel Oracles, get a little bit of insight into what this romance has to offer. So there's definitely a strong attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, so don't be sad and wistful or is it melancholic? There are roses you should be smelling in your life right now. Focus on the things that are going well in your life and you will draw in the other people that will appreciate what you appreciate. You have something worth waiting for here. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Somebody had to realize your worth and mature a little bit. Do a little bit of healing, right? Door to personal healing and happiness. And once that's done, free yourself. Once they have freed themselves and take control back of their lives, they know exactly what they want to do. So it might be tempting to try to control the situation, but let it move organically um, as it said, divine timing is at work here, right? So we don't want to try to rush anything. There's important healing that needs to happen first. So, patience. This could be somebody from a past life relationship. You've known each other before. That's why it felt so easy to get along as if you'd known each other for a lot longer than you had, you know? I hope you found this helpful and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for the support.